Hi, this is Sam with Golovi Real Estate, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing this brand new community in West Roseville. This is Vale at Solaire by Taylor Morrison Homes, and these are some of the most exciting new homes coming here into West Roseville. So if you'd like to see, we're gonna be reviewing this brand new model home right now. All right, guys, here we are in front of the Ellis model. This is one of their bigger single story models, right around 3,000 square feet, just absolutely gorgeous home. Beautiful, big, open floor plan. We're gonna go inside this home and show you what it looks like. All right, welcome on in. Here we are at the Ellis, one of the single story floor plans here at Vail at Solaire, brand new community by Taylor Morrison in West Roseville. Really excited about this one because I love single story homes and this is one of the larger ones here around 3,000 square feet. So right away here you have this junior suite option, really nice oversized room I would say, very plenty of space in here but right away it has this gorgeous flow right into a full bath. I love that feature. If you've been watching my channel, you know I love having a junior suite option in the front of the home, downstairs. I think it's great for people visiting. Got a nice walk-in closet here as well. So very good flow. I also like that it's in the front of the home, so when it's people visiting, you know, they come home late or whatnot, they don't feel like they're bothering you. So I like that a lot. Now, before we go too far in the home, this is a really cool feature. Check out this really nice size formal dining room. I mean, it feels very spacious in here. I love the accent walls they've done here. Very nice, makes it feel so cozy. Love what the designers have done with this model home. So really great feature to have a formal dining area here. Now, flowing from this hallway, I'm gonna show you guys the main event here because this is really nice. Check out this huge open floor plan. You have kind of a wet bar area, I'd say here with the wine station, you got the wine fridge, cabinet space, but just this flow from the living room to the kitchen to the dining is just really nice. So I love what they've done here. Really nice white cabinets. You got a nice island as well with informal seating. You still kind of have this, I called it a dining, but you could do definitely even formal dining here as well. So you can have two stations or make it more into a breakfast nook, but just really gorgeous. You have two sliding glass doors off the back. So just really nice space for entertaining. Open those up in the summer evenings, have people over, just really gorgeous. Now, one thing here is you'll see on the cabinets, just really nice. Quality stuff by Taylor Morrison. I love the backsplash. Now with the design features and the colors and all the fixtures and faucets you're seeing, these are all, uh, you know, I would say choosable by the buyer, especially if you buy the home from Dirt Lot, you can definitely go really custom with Taylor Morrison. On the design features, you have gas burners, which is really nice. A lot of the new builds are going away from gas features, so just keep that in mind, but really still nice to have them here. A lot of countertop space in this home. Of course, you have the microwave. You still have the oven. Kind of, I like that over the top feature. You do have a nice walk-in pantry. So very nice space there as well. Now, one cool thing is here, I love that it has this kind of exit towards that formal dining room that I showed you guys. I think that's a really nice feature, especially if you're hosting, you have people over sitting down at the formal dining table. You could be cooking, getting things ready, prepared, and just quickly hopping into that room and setting things down on the table. So that's a really nice feature. Now I do wanna hop back here before I forget it. Um, over here, you have your laundry room and this laundry room is way oversized. Look at all this space in here. You can set it up to have your dogs in here, whatnot, like that. Um, definitely some hangers, but plenty of countertop space, different stations, plenty of counter stuff. I love this, I love this, I really love this. So a lot of space in here for storage, things of that sort. I really like having a big laundry room like that. And over here too, you have kind of a powder room. Oh, who didn't put the seat down? Come on guys. <laughs> so you have the laundry room or a half bath right there. So nice little cutout feature here on this part of the home. Now back here, I wanna show you something too. What you kinda of have here is the rooms are separated throughout this home. So it's kinda of that, you know, 
you're in the under the same roof, but you kind of have that separated living a little bit. So it's not like all the rooms back up to each other. Very nice room. I would say definitely bigger than your average size room. It feels much bigger. Of course, they set it up as kind of a kid's room, dual bed, but you have a walk-in closet here. But this is really nice. You, you know, this home doesn't feel crammed at all, like with the rooms all connecting to each other. And you still have a full bath attached in here as well. So they'd have their own bath, which is very nice. So I really like this feature, uh, especially on this model home with Taylor Morrison. Very nice. Now, of course, everybody wants to know what does the owner suite look like? That's the main part of the home, Sam. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. Now this is the owner suite. So very nice, light and bright. I know we're going towards sunset hour here, so excuse the harsh shadows, but we got plenty of windows. We got two windows around the bed and then also another one out the back. Now, one very cool thing about this one is you also have this kind of uh, extra bonus room, I guess, connected to this suite. So you could turn it into a, a gym, maybe a home office workstation, a YouTube studio, whatever you can think of. This is really cool. Or even if you have uh, a baby, maybe grown up and you kind of want to turn it into a nursery, that would be really cool for something like this connected to the owner suite. So of course here you have the sliding glass door as well, which is really nice. Now these are currently locked. Otherwise I'd love to show you the backyard, but you do have a patio cover, and if you watch my other model tour, I'll show the backyard on that one as well. But still decent sized backyards. For this one in particularly, um, the lot size is gonna be the same, but it's a smaller footprint because the, I should say the footprint of the home is bigger since it's a single story. So the backyard's not gonna be as big on the single story, especially with 3,000 square feet like this. So still a good size yard. You could still definitely entertain a host, but on this specific one, I wouldn't say that I'd put a pool back there by any means, but there are gonna be some variation in size on the lots around here, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, here's the owner suite. You have the soaking tub. So I like that separation. Then you got the dual sinks. So it's very nice separation there as well. I really like that. And then you still have the walk-in shower. Very nice. And if you'd like to see more design features when it comes to bathrooms, make sure to watch our other model tour. I'll link it down below when it's done. But Taylor Morrison has some really nice design ideas between their model homes. Now this would be the separate kind of toilet station here, but it's nice that you have, you know, I would use these probably as linen closets here and just kind of throw extra sheets and stuff like that and supplies in there. Now you do have a full walk-in closet, plenty of space in here for shoes, purses, watches, of course, but plenty of space in this walk-in closet as well. So very nice homes here by Taylor Morrison. Now pricing can be a little bit all over the place. So if you'd like to get accurate pricing, if you're watching this video, reach out to me and my team down below. There's a link where you can either schedule a consultation, email us, or honestly, the best way is call or text that number right down there and we can get you an up-to-date pricing sheet based on when you're watching this video. We stay in contact with all the builders here in the area, so please don't hesitate. Let us be a resource for you and let us help you get the best deal possible because right now there's a lot more negotiations going on with new construction builds. But pricing here can start currently in the high 600s, but I would expect most homes to sell between the 700 to $900,000 mark, uh, depending on the size of the home you get. And of course, depends how far you go with the upgrades because that can substantially change the price. Currently, there's no HOA and the Melaroos are running right around 240, 241 a month. So just keep that in mind. The tax rates are gonna be a little bit higher, but that's average, I would say, for the Sacramento Roseville area. So if you're thinking about making a move into the area, feel free to reach out to us down below. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of this brand new home here in West Roseville. If you're interested in this community, feel free to reach out to me and my team down below. We'd love to assist you as we know all the new communities here in the Sacramento region. But for now, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all of our content going on here in Sacramento. My name is Sam with Golovia Real Estate. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.